Today's tutorial is actually going to be a very straightforward, quick and easy one. And we're basically just going to be covering one new command. And that command is a shortcut that's in vMix and it's also a command that's in vMix UTC. And that command is replay set selected event text. And the reason I'm talking about this today is I'm currently in the middle of setting up for my uh, high school football production that I'm going to be starting here in the next couple weeks. And I was looking back on how we did things last year and what were some of the trouble spots for us and how we could do better. We like to put together a replay package that we use at halftime and then we like to have one uh, that we use at the close of the game. And I had a hard time being able to do all the other things that I need to do and be able to name those replay clips as well. So I stumbled upon this command here, replay set selected event text, and it's allowed me to do a lot of really cool things. And I'm going to show you right now my vMix UTC replay layout. And let's go ahead and get rid of this overlay. And what I'm talking about is this field right here. And I have a whole bunch of different uh, topics already on here. The blue ones are for uh, the visiting team and the red ones are for the home team. And I have a uh, visitor touchdown catch, visitor touchdown run, a uh, visitor field goal attempt, visitor top 10. This is just a fantastic play that really doesn't fall into any of these categories. We have a visitor great catch, visitor long run, visitor block punt, visitor quarterback sack, visitor great defense, visitor big hit, visitor interception, and a visitor pick six. And we have the exact same designations down here on these home team buttons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over here onto my vMix uh, replay monitor. And you can see where these first ones already have named. This very first one right here, I have this one named a uh, home pick six and then I have this one as home touchdown and I have this one as a visitor block punt and the way that you would normally have to deal with these is you'd have to right click and then you'd have to go to your keyboard and type it in after you type it in the first time you have a drop down menu you can select from that but this is going to be so much easier let's click on this home pick six and say oh man that should have been a visitor pick six well I have a button over here all I have to do is click that button boom it changes to visitor pick six home touchdown well that should have been a visitor touchdown well instead of having to come in here and double click or right click and then retype it all I have to do is go to that button that we created and I change it to visitor touchdown run as you can tell by the command it says the selected one so you have to have whatever one that you're naming you have to have that selected so we need to make sure we have the one highlighted that we want to change so let's go on down here to the fourth replay clip and this turned out to be a long touchdown run for the visiting team so I'm going to click on this visiting touchdown run and it immediately comes right up for me. Now that uh, we've switched into the field, now the home team has the ball. We have a really good home team catch on the next one. So we'll go down to the next one, click on home team touchdown catch, and we pop that in right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink my vMix UTC down until we have just the information that we're trying to explain. So we'll just do it like this. And right here is a slim down version of our vmix utc replay controller you'll see over here this is our replays that we have listed under event list one and then these are the new buttons uh, that we've made to name these events so what we'll do is we'll go down to the next one you can see we're right here instead of having to right click in there and type uh, we know that this was a home field goal attempt so we'll go ahead and click on that and it comes right in. Oh, wait a second, that wasn't right. That was a visiting team interception. So we're gonna go up here and click, and now we made it visiting team interception. And it's gonna make it so much easier in the moment to go ahead and name those clips. Or if you, what you can do is just by using the monitor up here, as you click down, you can see a preview coming in. So if you wanted to wait to a commercial, you could easily go ahead and name all of those. We'll call this one a uh, visiting team big hit. We'll go down to the next one. Uh, we'll call this one a visiting quarterback sack. And then we'll call this next one home team interception. So you can see how quick it's gonna make it to name those. It, it, you don't even have to put your hands on the keyboard to do it. All you have to do is use uh, your mouse and select the replay clip that you wanna update and then just use one of these buttons. Well, let's go back to our full screen on our vmix utc and i'll show you how we did this now uh, this is the area that we're referring to right here and you can see there are no there is no header to these buttons like on all these other ones and the way that you can 
uh, turn that off and on is by hovering over it and right click it and it says toggle caption and if you click on it you can see that it takes away uh, the controls above it and it just leaves them the, the uh, meat of the button so to speak so we'll right click on it again and we'll toggle caption back on and then it brings those controls back in so that's all we did on all these as we turn that caption off so to show you how this button works I'm gonna go ahead and right click I'm gonna click on toggle caption and then I'm gonna click on the cog and it's gonna bring in the button for us well all these buttons are identical they're exactly the same they're all using this exact same command replay set selected event text and then all we're doing is we're typing that text in right here so this one that we're looking at right now this one is visiting touchdown catch and you can see where the text says visiting touchdown catch so when we click on this button when we have that clip uh, selected or highlighted we click on this button it's going to change that text to visitor touchdown catch and uh, we'll do a couple more just to uh, beat the point home let's go ahead and do this next one visiting touchdown run we'll click on toggle caption we'll click on the cog you can see we use the exact same command replay set selected event text and then the text that we're going to input into that field is visitor touchdown run and we'll do one more this last one is visitor field goal attempt let's right click on it turn the captions back on and hit the cog and then we'll scroll down we see the familiar replay set selected event text and then the text that we're setting that event to is visitor field goal attempt so that's all we're doing we're using that one command on these buttons that we've preset and it's allowing us to very quickly and easily change the wording on those replay clips. This is a quick tutorial. I hope you found it interesting. If you like what we're doing here at One Man Stream, please give us a thumbs up and a like, and make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. If you get a moment, please stop by our website. That's onemansstream.com. That's where we have our graphics store and more. We have many of the graphics that we've created during this tutorial series, along with many of the vMix UTC controllers. Uh, we do have a couple different flavors of the vMix UTC football controller. We have a controller that controls everything, uh, including the scoreboard, the clock, the quarter down and distance, timeouts, and all that. And uh, then we also have one incorporated uh, with all this information you see right here, uh, which this is just a replay uh, vMix UTC controller, but we have one that has both all the scoreboard controls uh, and all the replay controls. Uh, they're just a few dollars a piece, but it is a way that you can help support one man stream. If you have a question for me, you can always uh, drop me an email. My email is tim at veercast.com. And uh, I'll, I try to respond to every email that I receive. So if you send me something or have a question about something that you saw in a tutorial that you didn't quite understand, uh, just drop me an email and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much.